Hello and welcome. We have started a problem, linear programming problem and solution through VGAM method. We have already simplified the problem and converted it into equalities. Now we are going to prepare simplex table 1. First of all, let us write CJ values from the Z function or objective function. Coefficient of x1 is 2, that of x2 is 3, that of x3 is 4, for S it is always 0. And since this is maximization case, the coefficient of artificial variable is minus m. In case of maximization, the coefficient of artificial variable is always minus m and in case of minimization problem it is always positive m. Okay, now R1, R2 and R3 should be there because we have three constraints. So there will be three rows in the simplex table. The first constraint has only slack variable. So its slack variable will become solution variable. In the second constraint, there is surplus variable as well as artificial variable. Now remember that surplus variable will never become solution variable. Because surplus variable is never alone like slack. Surplus variable is always with artificial variable and only the artificial variable from such constraint will become the solution variable. So A1 and not S2. Similarly, from the third only A2 because there is only artificial variable. Now coefficients, we are going to write them uh, in columnar form because that will be easy to see and understand. In first x1, 3, 2 and 2. In x2, they are 1, 4 and 3. In x3, they are 4, 2 and 3. S1 slack variable, S1 is only in the first case, so 1, 0, 0. Surplus variable is not in case of 1, but it is in case of 2 and it is negative, so minus 1 and no surplus in the third row or third constraint. No artificial in the first, in the second that is first artificial, so 1 and in the second it is second artificial, so 0. Second artificial variable neither in first nor in second and in third it is 1. Solution values are respectively 600, 480 and 540. So this is the fitting of constraints in the simplex table. Now it is turn of C0. First is slack. So 0. Second is artificial minus m. Third is artificial minus m. Now we can write the z value. 0 into 3, 0, minus m into 2, minus 2m, minus m into 2, minus 2m, minus 2m plus minus 2m, minus 4m. In the third, 0 into 1, 0, or rather in x2, not third, but column x2, 0 into 1, 0, minus m into 4, minus 4m, minus m into 3, minus 3m, 0 plus minus 4m plus minus 3m is minus 7m. 0 into 4, 0, minus m into 2, minus 2m, minus m into 3, minus 3m, so it is minus 5m. First 0, second third 0, first 0 minus m into minus 1 is positive m. First 0, second minus m into 1, minus m. First and second 0, third minus m into 1, minus now we can write delta j values cj minus z. Okay. Now first will be 2 minus minus 4m. So it will be 2 plus 4m. Uh, in the second it will be 3 minus minus 7m. So it will be 3 plus 7m. In the third. It will be 4 minus minus 5m. So it will be 4 plus 5m. 0 minus 0, 0. 0 minus m, minus m. Minus m, minus minus m. Means minus m plus m, 0. Similarly, 0. So these are the delta j values. Now what? Again, remember. What is our objective? Our objective is maximization. 
in case of maximization to have the optimal solution all delta values should be zero or negative these four are but in these three cases m is positive so these three should be taken as positive values now which out of these three is the highest because in case of uh, maximization problem if the initial solution itself is not an optimal solution or if any in at the end of any simplest table we have not arrived at optimal solution we have to select the highest delta value highest delta j value now in this case which one is the highest delta j value which one so it is very simple ignore the constant values just compare the m 4m 7m 5m highest is 7m so we are going to select this one because against m there is the values 2 3 4 are negligible because m takes highest positive highest possible positive value that means in this table you can say that m is even greater than 600 so it can be easily understood that the function with 7m is the function with the highest value so we are going to select x to s key column now let us divide solution values by the elements in key column 600 divided by 1 equals to 600 480 divided by 4 equals to 120 540 divided by 3 equals to 180 selection of the lowest or minimum 120 so r2 becomes the key row x2 has become key column r2 has become key row common element is 4 so now this 4 has become key element what is the role of key element we have to divide r2 by 4 and then the result will be second column of the next table second column of the simplex table number 2 will be r2 divided by 4 in the next lecture we are going to prepare the second simplex table or simplex table 2 of the same solution that's it thank you